In this Easter season, we celebrate God's raising of Jesus from the dead, as we see it explained and expounded in the New Testament scriptures. What are we to say then? Shall we continue in the state of sin so that grace may increase? Certainly not. We died to sin. How can we still live in it? Don't you know that all of us who are baptized into the Messiah Jesus were baptized into his death? That means that we were buried with him through baptism into death so that just as the Messiah was raised from the dead through the Father's glory, we too might behave with a new quality of life. That remarkable passage is where Paul finds himself, where we find ourselves at this particular moment in the church's year, buried with the Messiah. When Jesus was buried on the evening of Good Friday and then through what we call Holy Saturday, it's a time of waiting, what's going on? And Paul is unpacking that and saying, we were buried with him, and that means that we have to regard ourselves as having died with him and then being left behind in the tomb so that when he is raised, we might be raised as well. Paul isn't just talking about what's going to happen when we are raised in the future when Jesus comes again. There is a new resurrection which happens already when somebody through baptism and faith comes into the family in which suddenly new life makes sense and it means us. We have to be that sort of people. Paul is here warning against a very familiar misinterpretation of the gospel of grace, that when people really hear that God loves us so much that he came to give his own son to die for us, they often think, oh, well, that's amazing. So whatever I do now, it really doesn't matter because Jesus has died for me, so all's going to be well, whatever I do. And Paul says, how can you possibly think like that? The whole point of the Jesus story is that we share, if we are in Christ, the phrase Paul uses again and again, if we are in Christ, then what happened to Jesus happened to us. And so this whole chapter unfolds as the Easter message saying, now, start one more time with the story. We are with him in the tomb, and now we are raised from the dead. That's how we discover what it means to be Easter people, that as he was raised from the dead, we too should be people who have a new kind of life. Life. And this question of status isn't a matter of, well, I feel like this today or I behaved like this yesterday. It's a matter of who we actually are so that when a Christian does sin, and Paul knows perfectly well he's a pastor and he's honest about himself too, that we do still sin. But when that happens, it is, as it were, illogical. It's behaving against the grain of who we really are. I heard somebody say not long ago, um, in answer to the question, how come Christians still sin? Somebody said, well, it's like snow at Easter. In my country, um, often Easter is the beginning of summer or near the beginning of summer, but some years occasionally you do get snow. And in the same way, for a Christian who has come through baptism and faith, the natural state is the beginning of summer, the beginning of the new life, even though from time to time. Uh, unexpected things happen. That's how we ought to regard our moral behavior as the outflowing of our new life in the Messiah Jesus, having left behind in the tomb everything that belongs to the corrupt, decaying world of sin and death. How is this passage speaking to you? Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe or check out our other videos.